meant to create a rainy day fund, uh, which will be on a 2012 ballot. So, uh, you know, the legislature, um, I have faith in them. Yes, we didn't get everything done that I've asked them to do, but that is understandable. Uh, they're not going to do exactly what I want them to do. But I think that one should not discredit all the work that has been done over this last uh, few years. It's really extraordinary. The amount of cuts that the legislators also have made is really extraordinary. They had to dig in deep. And uh, the important thing now is, is that we change the political system uh, in such a way that, um, that the, when redistricting kicks in and when open primaries will kick in, you will see a little bit of change up here. It's not going to be 100% change, but it's going to be some change up here so that people don't get punished anymore when they do the right thing, when they do uh, what is right for the people. Like the, uh, two years ago when we did the budget, when Republicans were canned and Democrats were punished when they sold billboards in their neighborhoods because they made cuts and so on. So that's the kind of thing we want to kind of slowly get rid of uh, because then legislators will make even better decisions and can improve so that uh, they're not so worried about getting reelected and all that. So that's uh, those changes I'm looking forward to. It's too bad that all of the reforms, uh, the ex outside of, of maybe um, uh, workers' comp reform, came so late because it took that many years to get those reforms done. They will, it will only benefit the next administration and the administration after that. But that's okay, because we're not just here thinking about ourselves. It's not about me, it's about California. So I think California is going to benefit from that in the future, and that's the important thing, and it was really worth fighting for, to fight for all of those reforms. Thank you, Governor. Thank okay, you. thanks very much, thank you.